What's up, legends? Welcome back to Riddos World. I am in nice and fresh Melbourne at the moment. Just flew in a couple of hours ago. I'm here for the Australian Distillers Conference. So we get to just talk about all things distilling in the industry, see where things are headed. But yeah, it's, it's really exciting. I'd like to catch up with a lot of people at this event that I don't get to see throughout the year. You know, find some new ideas, talk about how people are pushing the limits a little bit, and yeah, just have some fun. Drink some new spirits, play around. It's good, good little bit of information, like, you know, new information and some inspiration as well. But other than that, I did do the Kingscliff try last weekend, or last Sunday. Unfortunately, I didn't get the whole thing pushed out. I did a PB on the swim. Um, I have to check my times. I think I was about a minute 50 per 100, which is some of the fastest times that I've done, even in the pool. So I was super stoked with the, the swim. I was going really good on the bike and I felt pretty sturdy. I did the morning before the triathlon, go on a little test ride and I did have the chain come off a couple of times and I thought, oh, it's just a little bit lucky. I tried to change some things around on the bike, but still had some issues in the try. I got just over halfway, about 11 Ks. Actually, I got about nine Ks and the chain came off as I was going up this tiny hill that they've got. Chain came off as I was doing some stuff with some gears got that on real quick that was no issue and then just as I was about to get back on the largest kind of straightened downhill section my back tire popped so killed kind of the momentum for me I was feeling really good I was starting to pass quite a few people and then yeah popped so I was in my cleats I went back the three and a bit k's to the transition area where I could put the bike back in and then start on the run felt good in the run as well a little bit tender in the legs but not too bad um, it'll be really interesting this weekend when i go and do the gold coast try how i go in that transition between the bike and the run with an extra 10ks worth of biking i felt good in the run it's a, my pb for a run um i think it was about a five minutes and 40 something seconds um i'll post it over me talking here in the run yeah no, i was feeling really good it was a bummer that i couldn't just get it done so now I want to get two done this year, two complete ones finished. So I'm going to sign up to the Byron Bay try and do the same distance. So still a sprint distance. I just want to get the whole distance in before I commit to doing an Olympic one. The bike, the, the 40k bike into a 10k run is a big transition, I believe, for me. I think the 1500 meter swim, I can do no worries. It's the other two I think will be the hardest part of that. So after that triathlon, and I was still feeling a little bit tender leading up to it, I thought, okay, I'll actually try and taper off coming into the Gold Coast one. So my training uh, volume has decreased about about 50%. So still doing about the same amount of, you know, sessions, um, just they're smaller volume. So a little bit less weights than usual. I'm not trying to go anything crazy, just doing repetition, repetition to keep the body moving, keep myself feeling strong, um, but not by any means ending up with, with doms or any soreness after training. So I've been doing that the last the last week and a bit, feeling really good and powerful in the swims and the runs, and leading up into the try, I think I'll feel much better. Hopefully, it means that we can get a I can get a bit better result. Definitely, you know I'm getting the bike serviced, got a new rear, rear tube in there. Hopefully, we don't have any of those sort of issues again, and I can get a really good run at another sprint triathlon. Also, this morning weighed in at my lightest weight so far, one hundred and seven point one five. Super stoked. It's actually the lightest I've been on the gym scales since we did a big team challenge at the distillery a couple of years ago. Feeling really good. Still 7 kgs. Long way to go to get past my 100. But slow and steady, still dropping off that weight. I think some of this decrease in training volume has actually helped some recovery and some like um, inflammation kind of decrease as well. So I think I'm feeling some of that. Got a bit of hay fever. If you can hear my snuffly nose, just being on the plane, I think. But that's it. That's the recap, Riddos recap. And I'll be back next week to talk more about how the Gold Coast trial went. Hopefully just a recap video on that. Cheers, guys. Thanks for the support. Like, share, subscribe. I want to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That was one of my big goals. So anything to help me out, would appreciate it. Thanks, ladies.